Hey everybody, welcome back to the table. Today we're doing another episode, finally another side item for our D&D banquet table. We are going to be making mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. These are the potatoes that I make regularly for dinner. So I really hope you like them. The reason I have chosen mashed potatoes is because it is very typical in D and D to only really find root vegetables or you know just regular plain vegetables. So, without further ado, let's head on over to the kitchen. First thing we are going to need are potatoes. All right, I've got five russet potatoes. Uh, they're a little bit small, so I'm using one extra. I would normally only do four, but because they ran a bit small, I'm doing five. You will also need some butter, one clove of garlic, and some half and half. You also need salt and pepper, water, um, and we'll talk about how much water in just a little while. First, we've got to peel potatoes and then cut them up so that they cook faster. I have my trash bowl, as always, ready to go. And here we go. Next, we're going to take our garlic. We're going to give it a smash. Be very careful. All right, and what this does is just take off this little papery part of it and leave us with the garlic. And then just the smash garlic right in the pot. Now that we have our potatoes cut and in our pot, we need to add some water. You're going to add enough water to just cover the tops of the potatoes. I used six cups of water. You might use less depending on how big your pot is or how many potatoes you use. We're also going to add some salt. And now we're just going to get our oven turned on. I would say medium high heat. Go ahead and cover. Let this come to a boil. All right, so I'm going to check our potatoes. They've been cooking about 20 minutes. So go ahead and pull off your lid away from your face. That's just to keep the steam from getting you. Take a fork. And if they easily go into the potatoes, they're done. Time to drain. Go ahead and turn your oven or your stove off. Butter, right on in there. Half and half. Go ahead and eyeball. You don't want too much, maybe just enough to cover the bottom of the pot. Then you take your mashed potato masher. These come in all different shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter which kind, whatever you want to use. All right, and then you just get to smashing some potatoes. mash to your desired softness. I like to leave mine just a little bit chunkier, not totally smooth, just because that's how I like potatoes. Gonna add some more salt, and this is just to taste. So however much you want in your mashed potatoes. And some pepper, same thing, to taste. If you don't want it at all, go put it in there. So after you add all that, go ahead and give it another mix up. And usually I would just top this off with some chives. Let's add some green stuff to the top. Make it pretty. All right, and there you go. Lovely mashed potatoes. 
So this is a great addition to your D&D banquet because it serves a lot of people. It was totally easy to do and they are so delicious. And they go with a lot of the things that are already in our banquet menu. It goes great with the perch. It goes great with the roast. Oh, it is just a lovely side to add to any meal. Good old mashed potatoes. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a tip or a trick that I've left out, please comment down below and share it with the world. If you would like to see my videos every time they come out, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell at the top. It will give you a notification every time I post a video. Also, if you want to stay on top of when I'm going to be posting, since it's kind of erratic, you can go follow my Facebook page, at Before the Table. If you want to see the pictures that I take of the food after it's done, go ahead and follow my Instagram, at After the Table. And guys, if you really just like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.